Well, I'm Ben Mesher. I'm from Council Bluffs, Iowa. I'm a class, NACE class of 2011. I accelerated through by skipping my senior year with the NACE program in the Bale and Blank Center. Um, that was kind of a sporadic decision. I still don't really know why I did it, which is kind of funny, but I just, I don't know, I just did it because I, I actually miss high school. I had a lot of fun, but one day I just decided to do that. Other forms of acceleration, which I know there are like, what, 13? Is that correct? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, I did think my... High school didn't really have acceleration type like programs per se, but they had maybe the dual enrollment, I guess, would count. And so that's what they relied on most heavily, and I was pretty involved with that as much as I could be. I took classes with older kids a lot, and I also, uh, when I was really young, like pre-third grade, um, they, had ac they actually had a tag program, so... Um, after my sophomore year, my sophomore summer, I went to a camp kind of like BSI, but for older kids. The same, I don't know, it's kind of the same thing. It was in Chicago, and I really liked it. And I started looking at college, like, for the first time in my life. Like, I always knew I was going to go to college, but I actually started, like, you know, reading up on stuff. And uh, then I got a postcard that said, I'm ready, or something like that. And... I just decided, okay, well, this is kind of cool, but, you know, I don't know why I would leave. And then I went to an info day, and and then the, before you knew it, I was accepted, so I just came. <laughs> as far as graduating early, my family, my parents, as I said, were always supportive. They were a little nervous, but I don't think that's nervous as in, like, is he going to, you know... I don't know. Not nervous for me, but just nervous in the fact that most parents are usually nervous when their first-born child goes off to college. And uh, my siblings, I don't really know, and I think that's because I don't see them as often. I mean, I was pretty close to my family, and uh, that was pretty much a big change for me. So, And just the fact that I don't really know how they, how it affected them it probably says that um, like the lack of being with them was probably the biggest change for them. Not pleasantly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's. Um, I have. I had a lot of friends in the class of two thousand seven, the high school class. But I grew up with the kids in the class of two thousand eight. I had a lot of fun with them. Those are, those are some of my closest friends, and like. People just kind of, I don't know, it, it's such a weird thing when somebody leaves early. I mean, normally people leave high school early because they get pregnant or they have to go to juvie. So, like, they were wondering, you know, I think they were wondering, like, why? And then um, when they would ask me, of course, I would say, I don't really know, I'm just going to. And I think that they were kind of, they maybe thought that I was abandoning them, which maybe I was, I don't really know. But I think that they... A lot of people don't understand it. They accepted my uh, decision to go to leave high school, and uh, they like helped me through it. But they never, you know, were like supportive or. And I, I guess actually that's how I would have preferred it. I wouldn't have wanted to been put up like on a pedestal, like you know, here's this great achievement of this kid who graduated in three years, but. I, I did get my diploma after three years. You would think that they would be most supportive because that's how I felt. I felt like my teachers my whole life have been like the driving force behind like encouraging and gung-ho for education, which is how teachers are supposed to be. But a lot of them didn't feel it was the right thing to do. They never said that directly to my face, but... Um, I went to a high school where my class was 180, so it was like a medium size, and you hear things, and I don't know, I just, I heard a lot of different opinions between people that were very, teachers that were very supportive, and teachers that were thinking that was the wrong idea, that you, there's no way that you're ready for this, and even ones that I, I thought personally knew me, and I don't know, and of course the administration was indifferent, and my friends were a little hateful. <laughs> I 
I would have stayed at high school. <laughs> I guess that's like the biggest thing I could have done different. As far as changing things, I see this particular acceleration as more of like a black and white, like graduate early or don't. I mean, because I was already taking community college classes, so it's like, I don't, I don't know if I could have done anything different other than not. <laughs>